Okay, GeoGuessr, daily challenge, day 22 in a row. Dale got a 21,700. Let's get going. Ooh, here we go. Um, hmm. I wanted to say Europe to start, but oh no, there are other blue stripes in the number plate, so I was just a bit, they're just thin. I wonder if there are some countries that have thinner stripes on the number plates. Uh, Russian writing, I believe. Yeah, there's definitely blue. It's subtle, but there's definitely blue. I don't think Russia itself has blue right That says fructal, but. But it was that bit that looked Russian. Hmm. Okay, let's move on. That corner's confusing. And I can't go that way. Oh, that looks like a bank. Society General Serbia. Now that is suspiciously close to Serbia. And Serbia's got some of those funny characters that lend from Russian. So I'm going to stay with Serbia so far. And we shall continue going. Yeah. I like it all so far. Serbia at least. Oh wow, I just looked over at my um recording and my shirt's doing weird things. <laughs> I was out tonight for a birthday party, so I I thought when I come home, you know, might as well record the video in my nice shirt. Get some nice shirt videos out there. Instead of always just the black t-shirts from working backstage that I'm always wearing. Okay, that's a flag. Is it a Serbian flag or is it like a hospital Red, white, and blue. I think red, Serbia's flag is red, white, and blue. I still like Serbia a lot here. Um, casino. Oh, God. Dot co dot yu. Dot yu? Could it be Serbia? No. Bulgaria? Some of them have really weird ones because other countries have taken the letters before them. Kosovo? No. Albania, Montenegro, North Macedonia. Yu.co.yu. I'm sticking with Serbia right now. And I only have 10 seconds left, so unless I find some drastic information in a second, Serbia will be the guess. Let's leave it. Hey, oh! Good decision to move down, too! 4,910, that is a lovely score. Very happy with that. And Serbia was correct. So Serbia's um, internet address... Suffix is YU. I wonder why. I'll have to look that up after. I always say that and I always forget. Hopefully I remember that because it would be important. Okay, the big red line through the sign saying you're leaving somewhere appears in Eastern Europe mainly. Plus Eastern Europe vibes all around here. Uh, Avakini Bridge. Just a nice bridge. Look at these fields. What are they growing? To me, it just looks like flowers. I don't think it's a crop. It looks like flowers. Oh, it might be flower. No, flowers grow out of wheat. That doesn't look like wheat. Who knows? If anyone knows what they're growing there, let me know, because I'd like to know. Because it just looks like flowers. But the fact that there's unplanted fields suggests there's like a cycle here. Hey, look, they're planting there. And they're harvesting. Hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's at its peak of growth. Some of those fields we've seen before have already been harvested. And these ones are to be harvested. It could be something like... Something that requires the seed of it? I don't know. I'd really like to know what they're growing. Oh well. 
One day, that that tree is beautiful, very picturesque. Especially from the angle I was at before. Okay, so... It's hot here. These power poles... Well, it's not... I don't know if it's hot, hot, but it's summer. It's farming season, so it's probably always going to look hot. 25.CR, 21.CR. And Putras 6. <gasps> I'm trying to go back. I was somewhere else a few days ago where they had signs with a number after them. Or just like that. Just like that. It turned out to be Baltic. Or did it turn out to be Chechnya? Or Czech Republic. I was talking to a friend the other day and they told me I've been saying that wrong and that Chechnya is something else. Somewhere else or whatever. Something about what I was saying there is wrong. But I remember saying Czech Republic is right enough. But also some people in the country don't agree with that. So, sensitive issue. Uh, 50, 80, 90. Those are um, on this road. Those are kilometers per hour speed limits, definitely. It was right on the border, but it was in Latvia. I'm glad I remembered to put a marker down in Czech Republic because I almost forgot there. That time just got away from me. 2,500, not the best, not the worst. I'll live with it. Africa? South Africa? Maybe South America? Hmm... Explore. Those words on that sign looked more Spanish, Portuguese than they did English if it was South Africa or any of the African languages. That's not a very safe helmet there, sir. Now, what are you carrying in front? Oh, jeez. What's this guy got? That guy's got a Foleski. Gotta stop just looking at his people. But that, that guy's wearing basically a sleeping bag on his, not sleeping bag, a pillowcase. With a hole cut in it for his face. Okay. Oh, truck. I love trucks. <coughs> Excuse me. It's flammable. Helpful. Well, it says inflammable, which also means flammable, which is really confusing. Nice bridge. Oh. That bridge just gave me Southeast Asia vibes. And monkeys? The Southeast Asia vibes are growing. I'm putting myself in Colombia. Not Colombia, Cambodia. I made that exact same mistake on yesterday's video. Go back and watch yesterday's video. You will hear me call Cambodia, Colombia. Yeah, and these guys are starting to look more Southeast Asian. Okay. Nothing there. Cows. The sign that says cows. That sign also says cows, and that says turn. Oh, sign. I think it's just going to reiterate some of the locations we saw before. I'm going to try and look through it through the lens of Asia this time. Bosconia, Plateau, and Santa Marta. See, the Santa Marta to me is what's throwing me off. That sounds so like um, South American. Not Asian. But a lot of this looks Asian. Is there an awkward middle ground? But, you know... Mm, I don't know. What the hell does that sign mean? Two weird symbols. I this round's going to be the death of me. The death of me is a bit melodramatic. The end of me. The end of my good score for today. Need to start practicing more. An anteater! Argentina. There. Change my mind. Ooh, good thing I did. Actually, I say, ooh, good thing I did. South America is so big, I still only got 324 points. It's better than if I guessed there, but it's still not great. Colombia. 
Okay. If I get South America vibes, but so if I get South American writing, but I get Southeast Asia vibes, remember, Colombia. Ah, uh, this place is cool. Is that some Asian writing for me? Oh, it's Mongolian writing. Lovely. Just checking, they don't use that script in... Okay, I said it's Mongolian writing. I meant to say it's Bangladesh writing. And then after checking what I thought was Bangladesh, but actually was India, I meant to say, let's just check they don't use the same script in India. But they clearly do because I checked India first. So this could be India. Normally you can ignore India because they don't have any road geoguessing. But this isn't a row, this is Trekker. Just a single dude with a hat. So this very well could be India because it's Trekker. It's really cool. This place reminds me of... Loosely, but it reminds me of the... Cave number nine. Oh, hell yeah. This is the oldest... Something. That sounds like an Indian word. To the Hinya sect of Buddhism, dating back to 1st century BC. The... Well-balanced facade is divided in name. Asp. Cylindrical base. Something about Lord Buddha. Is Nepal an option? Do they do any geoguessing in Nepal? It's Buddhism's from Nepal, isn't it? I know there's Tibetan Buddhism. But I think there's also, they also talk about Buddhism in Nepal. Anyway, I'll quickly say this, um, this place reminds me of, very loosely, uh, the, one of the, uh, air temples from Avatar The Last Airbender. The last one they go to in the Book of Fire, where they, um, it's an upside down city. Like, it, it's built upside down, but it's built entirely into a cliff wall. Which is really cool. Oh, I'm inside now. Okay, some of those statues out there looked more like they're from the Hindi religion than Buddhism. Please remove footwear. The other sign clearly spoke about Buddhism. Either way, this is a really, really cool place. Would have been cool to live in back then. I mean, apart from the fact it's back in the past and it'll be awful. But at least you get good views. I'm sticking with Nepal. Could potentially be a nap and having a cat man do. No, it could be a cat man do. That was down here in India. Did not mean to click on that, sorry. <coughs> well, things have certainly fallen apart. My good rounds that I had at the start has been destroyed. Banco de la Nation of Argentina. We're in Argentina. Okay. If I can get. 5,900 points. I can. La Paz. Thought La Paz was a place here. La Plata? Where's La Paz? Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna go to La Paz. Um, if I get 4,900, I can still get silver. Very unlikely, but you know what? Let's try. I mean, we're just, we're clearly in Argentina somewhere. A major-ish city? But I'm not sure how major. Is that ocean? I know I just went down this way, but I'm going back because I want to see if that's ocean. It's not ocean, it was just horizon, I think. Yeah, if it was ocean, the roads would be getting nicer this way, because towns tend to start on ocean or water. At least, these days the ocean's well-valued real estate. When you don't need to worry about fresh water and you get that pump to your house. Which this place looks nice enough to have plumbing. That's a cute dog. 
Okay. Argentina. I don't think we're in Buenos Aires. It's not big enough. Hmm. Rosario. Rosario Dawson, star of Men in Black 2. Saint Maria. No. Now both sides of this road end up in less interesting places. That's a weird cagey bin there. I'd be really confused if I hadn't seen that Argentinian bank or flag earlier. I mean, that could be wrong. Banks aren't always in the country they're from. Oh, Rosario was probably one of my best guesses. It was a little town. Is that called Lincoln? It's called... I don't get to look at it because... It's hidden behind the thing. Oh, that just takes me to Street View. But yeah, it's called Lincoln Buenos Aires. Awesome. Awful score. Unhappy with a lot of these rounds. This round was hard. That round was actually no the three. Mm, they weren't easy rounds. But I'm still not super happy with how I did on them. Hmm. How did Dale do? Oh, he's just gonna done well. Look at these scores. Lovely. Especially round two. Which was round two? Was round two this one? Oh, he was close. How does he do it? He's a master. Something for me to aspire to. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, leave in the comments uh, how you guys did on today's challenge, and see you next time. Bye.